Welcome to another video on my channel. Um, Christmas is coming and Christmas time is now. So this video is about how you can create Christmas JDM decoration. Why you need JDM Christmas decoration? Because it looks awesome and it personalizes your tree or your car. If you know someone who drives a great JDM car, maybe you can do something like that and just make a gift and print it by yourself with a guy like this or let it print on a platform. And there are a lot of different ways to make that, of course. Um, I'm not a Blender expert. And now let's start. Blender is a very mighty tool, but you have to know how you can use it for your intention. And I found a tutorial of a geometry node combination for a lot of random created snowflakes. You can see here that these can be 2D, these can be 3D. You can just, you can change a lot of parameters to look if this is something what you want. And we want a two dimensional snowflake so this very funky stuff here is not very interesting for us. But I just want to show it is everything possible. So when you're happy, or when I was happy with my snowflake, I made a screenshot from the top view. And this looks like that. I saved the JPEG and imported it to Inkscape. Inkscape is open source as well. So everything is for free. And in Inkscape, we want to create a vector graphic out of this uh, JPEG file. So we go here to the top and change these parameters inverted. And then you have your snowflake and you can do every size you want and the resolution doesn't matter. This is very important because we want to save it as SVG file. So just uh, have a look if it's okay. So we want the snowflake for a 86 driver or for our 86. And that's why I look if we just make a circle and put the 86 inside or if we want to make the 86 as a whole or as material. So just a little bit to find out a thing what you really like now we start Blender, delete the standard cube and go to File, Import and import our snowflake. So our snowflake is here, but very, very tiny. We can delete the camera and delete the light because we don't want to render something. Push S and make it a little bit bigger. And I want to have it like 65 millimeters. I think that's a good size. And as you can see, we have the hole inside now. Then I put geometry to origin. And then we go to convert, convert to mesh. Because we want to extrude it and we want to make a volume out of it. Then we press X and go to limited dissolve so that we don't have so many vertices. That looks good. So it wasn't really in the middle, so we put it in the middle right now. So now that looks really good. And the next problem is the inner circle because it looks really big. At first we apply all transformations and then we and um, I don't know why, but my shortcut does not really work. So I just uh, click on the single faces. Then you can push S and size it to a diameter you're happy with. Then Shift A to add a text. And this should be our 86. Just to make sure the size is good. 
and I do a little bit overlap because then the printer and can print it as one part. So you see the eight and the six at the top and the bottom um, touches the circle of our snowflake. I just skip here a little bit. It's just a fine tuning. Then we do Boolean transformation to union. So we just have one part and put a hole on the top. So because we want to use it for our decoration Christmas tree or in a mirror, or whatever. That looks good. So now save it as STL, Stereo Lithography File, and then open it in Cura if you want. And if you if you don't have a printer, you can upload it now your STL file to Treadstock, for example, or CraftCrowd or platforms like that. And if you have a printer, you know what happens now. We use it in Cura, and I use from Fotuva uh, HD glass filament to get a little bit of transparency. Um, I would recommend a bigger nozzle, like a 0 0.8 nozzle and a 30 millimeter per second print speed, so very slow. If you like what you see, you really help me follow my channel. And there's different things like traveling, like research, like crafting, testing, driving, stuff like that. So that would be really, really helpful for me. And thanks for watching. And have a nice Christmas and uh, yeah, see you in the next weeks. Bye.